right, Luke, what stood out the most to you uh, tonight? Um, we, when we when we did things the way we wanted to, uh, it was a lot of fun to watch. I think our guys, we got to get in much better shape for the way that we want to play. I felt like fatigue was a big factor of when we had breakdowns, whether it was transition defense, whether it was not rotating over on the help side, um, which we spent a lot of time in training camp doing. And we, and, and, you know, some of the groups did it really well. And when we did, we got stops. Um, and then I thought when we got tired, we stopped moving the ball and we just settled for threes, which is not the way we want to play this year. Uh, so there was, there was, you know, I told the guys there was a lot of, a lot of positives uh, to take from that. And there's a lot of negatives we got to learn from that. Um, and we'll, you know, we'll get after the tape tonight and, and present it to the guys in the morning. Yeah, they took twice as many free throws. Uh, I think mm -hmm. was that part of it, the following on defense uh, in, in terms of what you were just getting at? Yeah, and I knew that'd be, you know, when you got young guys, you foul a lot. That's the kind of the way it is. And the way we're, you know, we're teaching our guys is we want, you know, we're teaching them arms out. We're teaching them don't foul, but we're also, you know, we want to be aggressive. So there's kind of going to be a fine line as they learn uh, what they can get away with in this league and what they can't. Uh, you know, we want them fight over, fighting over screens, things like that, that, you know, veterans and, and good players know how to draw fouls on that stuff. And, uh, you know, we're going to keep we're going to keep grinding and drilling it and uh, we'll be all right. What'd you make your two rookies who got bigger minutes with Lonzo and Kuzma? They were good. They were good. Um, you know, Lonzo is so gifted as far as the way he can. He always makes everyone on the court a threat. Uh, you know, with him, we've been working on. Uh, a, he, he's so unselfish that sometimes he has good shots for himself, and he tries to get someone else a shot. Uh, we want him taking those, and uh, you know, team, you know, players and, and scouts in this league are going to know he wants to play make. So, uh, you know, we're looking for him to be a little more aggressive to score the ball, especially early on, and then as defenses adjust, play make. Um, but I thought he. He was great the way he was moving around out there and getting people involved. Uh, Kuzma's uh, was just Kuzma again. He's a competitor and he finds a way. He got lost a bunch out there and we were playing him at some three and some four, which is completely different coverages. And he's been in the NBA for a week, really. Um, so, you know, it was impressive to see him go and just the way that he, he uh, you know, he scraps. Uh, but, you know, just like the team, there's a lot of positives with both of those guys, and uh, there's a lot to, to still work on. You say you're playing, you get guys, they look tired to you. Mm -hmm. is, that, is that just a game shape thing? I know you've been working all summer. Is that just. Kind yeah, of I think so. I mean, it's. Uh, there's there's <laughs> nothing like that, uh, that five on five, and, you know, the. I think a lot of the guys probably had some, you know, nervous energy going into the night. And that always kind of seems to get players a little tired, uh, a little more tired, a little quicker. And uh, you know, I think they'll kind of, they'll kind of naturally get into uh, into a groove. And you know, I think with the, the the training they did this summer, a lot of them are in better shape than they showed tonight. But it's just uh, you know, we got another couple of weeks uh, to get to where we need to be. What has the pace compared this year to what you tried to do last year? Well, it, we want to play. We want to play faster this year. Um, but what we also struggle with that is going to be uh, an ongoing process is when there's nothing available. Then we want to be a you know a, a, a motion offense team where the ball's moving side to side. We don't want to just jack up quick shots. So we want to play fast to win the opportunities there. Um, we need to get better at recognizing when it's not there and then just getting into the flow uh, of an offense. He was good. I mean, he had a couple, a couple, uh, he picked up a real early foul, which he was actually on the help side line, uh, right where we want him to be. He just reached last second and almost got it clean. Um, he, he, I thought he was really good with the help concept we had been drilling all week. Uh, Teague's a crafty little player. And he likes to really reject screens. So we had talked about that a little bit. Uh, and uh, too many times we let T, you know, T kind of act like he was going to the screen and then hezzy back uh, to where he could get into our paint. But, you know, that's just, that comes with playing in this league and learning people's tendencies. And that's what T does to everybody. So I thought overall his defense was, uh, was very good tonight. Um, some of the on-ball stuff is where I think we'll, we'll have the most clips for him.
the crowd tonight was nothing like what it was like last preseason when we were here at Atlanta mm -hmm. Center. What did you make of it? It, it? To me, it feels right. I mean, that's what it's supposed to be like. I mean, when I played here, I was shocked last year because when I played, I was always lucky enough to be playing with Kobe. So we had crowds like this everywhere we went in the preseason. And last year, we're going around, obviously the <coughs> arenas weren't, you know, they're half full and they're still good fans there, just not the same uh, same amount of people, the same energy when you got a, a sold out building. Uh, so it felt it felt right, it felt normal to, to go out there and, and have that type of energy in the crowd. What did you think of the way Brandon played in particular this? <clears throat> Loved his aggressiveness. Uh, I thought he um, I thought he did he, he did a lot of things well. Uh, he was really given the effort and trying. Um, you know, to you know, we got a, a, every single play. There's and that's a good team over there. They, there's coverages that have to happen, and then you're closing back out to to Wiggins. Or you're closing back out to Butler. Um, so he he did a, a, a heck of a job. Uh, I thought sometimes he rushed some of his shots on offense um, that led to, to transition points the other way. But you know, when it's the first preseason game and everyone's that excited to get out and show all they've been working on that kind of that kind of happens so overall very pleased with uh with the way brandon played um and he's already in the locker room after the game talking about let's get better tomorrow so that's the that's the right attitude to have that's last question did you make of uh, jim bus was here for the first time i think since he's been fired yeah so uh-huh I love it. I mean, Jim's uh, obviously one of the owners and a big part of this organization. And um, if he's still here, I look forward to going and chatting with him a little bit. Uh, but I think it's, it was great to see him over there.